Rotan. Dan, managing partner of Maveron. Wonderful venture capital guy. I've learned so much working with you. Most of my coaching clients are big corporate CEOs. You've met them or big, you know, head of World Bank or people like that. Very, very different world than you live in. So for me, it's been fascinating to work with you because it's such a good learning for me. Thanks, I've Marshall. learned many things from you. You're in a very different business. In venture capital, most of the bets don't win. You're not betting 70% probability of success. Most of them lose. And oftentimes we think about these studies, what do we learn from the people that won? I'm gonna ask you a different question. You see a lot of people lose. What have you learned from people that lost? What do you said, this kind of leads to loss as opposed to win. What would it be? That's a good question, Marshall. There's probably a lot of reasons people lose. Mm -hmm. Some of which are within their control. Okay. And a bunch of which are outside of their control. Mm -hmm. In terms of within their control, I would say I've experienced people who lose who don't own the outcome. They're okay. victims. Uh. They think it's not their fault. They kind of lose faith in their ability and they can't adopt to changes. Mm. And another thing I've seen is people who stick with the original thesis mm. and can't move. Mm. When we fund a company, mm -hmm. we fund a particular thesis. Mm -hmm. We go out and we learn is the market what we thought? Is the product market fit what we thought? Is the competitive set what we thought? A year, two, three years down the road, things change. I see. And a lot of times I've seen people be married to the original thesis mm -hmm. or the psychological contract that we had mm -hmm. with them when we funded. Mm -hmm. And part of what I try to say to them is that psychological contract that we funded you mm -hmm. is the past. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the data now. Let's look at our ability to compete, mm. let's look at the competitive set, and let's make our decisions based on today, mm. not the past. Mm. So I think the best entrepreneurial leaders are always observing data and challenging their original thesis. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Bezos has something uh, that is a great quote about how he's nimble on the tactics, mm -hmm. but he sticks to the big vision. Mm. And what I want to see is entrepreneurial leaders who can be nimble mm -hmm. in changing course. Another thing I would say uh, that we've seen is losing touch with the customer. Mm. At the end of the day, when you're trying to start an early stage consumer business, mm -hmm. the, that product market fit and staying relevant to the customer mm -hmm. is really important. And sometimes people confuse a false sense of early success mm -hmm. with getting out of touch mm -hmm. with what she wants. Mm -hmm. And it's a hard lesson to learn. And I've learned it uh, more than once. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.